Hey everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another quick video for you, and this one is an OBS, and I'm recreating it and re-uploading it because I missed a little bit of critical information in my last video. So I'm gonna go over that in a little bit more detail in this one and show you guys how to get the best streaming settings for a low-end PC for affiliates and non-affiliates. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button for me because that'll help this video rank up in those YouTube algorithms. Also don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you can see all the videos that I post in the future. Now let's get started. So down here we start with settings and then it's going to bring up our settings menu. Let's go to video. Now for very low end PCs, you're going to want to consider gaming in 720p. I know your computer can probably handle gaming in 1080p, but when you're streaming at the same time, sometimes that bogs it down too much. So we're going to assume you have a pretty bad PC. If you have a little bit better PC than this, then you could change these settings accordingly. So base canvas resolution, let's click that, go down to 720p. And then our output scaled resolution, let's also match that at 720p. That's going to provide much less effort for your computer to encode and stream it. Downscale filter, this doesn't necessarily matter since we're not scaling it, but you can try by cubic or by linear. For a good rule of thumb, by linear is for low end PCs if you are scaling it and this one right here is for high-end PCs. Since we're not scaling it, this is most likely not gonna have any kind of effect on our computer, so we're just gonna choose Bicubic. Now for affiliates and non-affiliates, if you're not affiliated with Twitch, then your viewer doesn't have transcoding on your stream and they're relying on their internet connection to view your stuff the best possible. So usually the higher bit rate and the higher frame rate you throw at your viewer and you're not affiliated, then the harder time they're going to have watching your stream because they're going to see pixelation and stuttering. So for non-affiliated people, make sure you don't go above 30. For affiliated people, you can try 59.94, but that's only if your computer can handle it. So we're going to go with 30. Go to output for me and then go to output mode. Make sure that's in advanced. Make sure we're on our streaming tab and by default audio track 1 is chosen. Now here we come to the encoders. The default encoder is x264 and that means it's using your processor to encode your video and upload it and stream it to Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're streaming it. So this is all based upon processing power right here. I'm going to explain this one then I'll explain the next one here in a bit. We're not rescaling it so uncheck that and it's going to keep it at 720p. If you are rescaling it, let's just say you're playing in 1080p and you're still downscaling it to 720p because you're not affiliated yet, make sure you check rescale output and then put it to 720p. But since our base canvas resolution already is in 720p, we don't need this checked. Rate control, you have four options down here. CBR means controlled bit rate. That just means you specify a bit rate and OBS does its best at keeping that bit rate the exact same 100% of your stream. This is your best option for good quality and file size. Now for low end PCs, you probably want to stick this around 2000. Anything lower, you'll start seeing a lot of pixelation. And if you're not affiliated, then you don't want to go above 3000 because your viewer is going to have a hard time watching your stream. So for non-affiliated and low-end PC, we're going to stick it around 2000. You can try 2500 if you want, but as you start messing with these settings, look down here at the bottom right and you'll see CPU usage percentage. You never want that to be above 90 as a good rule of thumb. So if you start seeing it hit 100, then you're doing something wrong, you need to lower some quality and settings. So if we go back up to rate control, if you choose ABR, which is average bit rate, you tell it a bit rate and it does its best to keep it at that bit rate, but it has a little bit of leeway to go above and below the desired bit rate to make up for what's going on on the screen. So it's a good little average bit rate. That's not a bad choice as well for non-affiliated streamers and low-end PC streamers. VBR is variable bit rate, and this one's a little bit for a little more powerful PCs, for a little bit medium end PCs to higher end PCs. Variable bit rate lets you choose the bit rate, and of course it has a little bit of leeway to go above and below depending on what goes on in the screen, but it also lets you choose a CRF number, which is a control rate factor number, to keep the quality of the video at a certain desired point. Now CRF goes from 0 to 51, and the lower number you choose, the better quality and better file size it's creating. So for good PCs, you're probably looking at 10 to 15. For low end PCs, you're probably gonna wanna choose around 25 to 30, but you probably don't even wanna choose this option, honestly, for streaming, especially for low end PCs. But if you do wanna choose it, let's just say 25, and then watch your CPU usage down here, 
and then we'll go from there. And then we got control rate factor, which is the CRF number minus the bit rate entirely. This is for more high-end PCs, really good connections, gigabit connections basically, because CRF provides the best quality, but the biggest file size. So you probably most likely don't even want to stream with this one at all. But if you do, then you're probably going to want to choose 25 to 30. But our best one, we're just going to choose CBR because that's a great one. Keep use custom buffer size unchecked. Keep keyframe interval at zero auto. CPU usage. Now here's the thing about CPU usage. The higher you are at ultra fast, that means the less processing power it's going to use to encode. But your stream quality may suffer a little bit. But your computer will be able to handle it. So for low end PCs, you're gonna wanna stick it around super fast or very fast. As a good rule of thumb, you don't wanna really do ultra fast because that's been known, you can check the, the internet, but ultra fast usually causes a little bit of issues sometimes. So as a good, really safe bet, super fast and very fast are something you wanna stick around for low end processors. Now, if you choose super fast or very fast and your processors are still barely going up to like 60%, you can go down to faster and then you know work your way lower because the lower you go the more work your processor is going to have to do to encode it but the better quality your stream is going to be so i would say for a low-end pc let's go with super fast profile so the only two you need to worry about are main and high high will basically make your stream easily more viewable and compatible with computers and pc streaming and tv streaming Main will be better for watching on phones if people watch their streams on phones, but it's going to suffer on your quality a little bit. So as a good rule of thumb, you probably just want to do high. Tune, don't worry about that. This is more proprietary stuff. You can keep that at none. And this options down here, don't worry about that. That's special stuff you don't even need to worry about because you'll never ever use it. And so that's the best stream settings for processor encoding. Now let's go click this option again and you're going to see another option here. Depending on your graphics card or your onboard graphics, this option may look a little different, but the options inside here are still the same. So I have a GTX graphics card, so I'm going to click that. And the options change a little bit, so I'll explain them. Uh, rescale output stays the same, rate control factor, two of them are the same and two of them change. CBR, control bit rate, stays the same and it's still your best bet. VBR, we have the variable bitrate I explained earlier. You tell it a bitrate and it goes above and beyond depending on what goes on in the screen. CQP stands for constant quantization parameter. That basically means it analyzes every frame and tries to match the quality for the previous frames. This is for pretty high-end PCs and people with really good internet connections. So for low-end PCs, you probably don't want to choose this one. But if you want to give it a shot, all power to you, I'd say keep this number around 25 to 30 and lossless this is for the pristine golden pc this is the best quality you can possibly have but the massive file size so you'll most likely need gigabit internet hardwired connection and a really good pc to even think about streaming in this one also another thing if you record in lossless just as a side note sometimes in your video editing program the video will come out grayscale so watch out for that you'll have to recompress it into a different format to get some color back, but you'll experience some weird glitches. So I wouldn't record in this, and I probably honestly wouldn't even stream in this. So we're gonna choose CBR, and then we go down here. This is an option that's added when your encoder is changed from the processor, it's presets. They have a few presets built in, and the best one you wanna choose is just default, honestly. You can try high quality and high performance, depending on your computer, and you just watch your CPU usage down here. If you're not peaking at 90 or around that area, all power to you, use one of these. These are really good presets, but default's probably your best bet for low-end PCs and non-affiliates specifically. Profile again, main and high. I would most likely choose high because that's the most compatible. Keep your level at auto, you don't have to worry about that. Two-pass encoding, you can keep that checked, but if you see your CPU spiking a little bit right here, uncheck that and that may help out a little bit. But again, we are using your graphics card to stream, and so unchecking that and checking that might not have an effect on your CPU usage, but it might have an effect on your gameplay. GPU keep it at zero, B frames keep it at zero, and that's it. That's how you get the best streaming settings for low-end PCs for affiliates and non-affiliates using either your graphics card or your computer processor to encode. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions and give you my best advice on to what settings you should use for your PC.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching that tutorial. If that helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that'll help me out, and that'll let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, if you want, you can check out my Patreon. The more patrons I have, the more frequent I can do my giveaways, and the better the prizes will be. I also sell shirts and stuff on Amazon and TeePublic, so all the links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.